What's going on fellow fixers? I'm Jeremy and I am a fixer. Today's video we're talking about the Happy Hen House Chicken Coop Automatic Door Opener. So a month or so ago I showed you that I got some chickens. We got six chickens and they're relatively easy to keep and maintain, especially in our backyard. Uh, but I like to make things as simple as possible and so I made a video, showed you how I hooked up an automatic water, water to the chicken coop. So if you want to watch that video I'll link it up above and below. Um, but the other thing that I added is an automatic chicken coop door opener. Now, now, I've had this coop door for about a month and a half, two months ago. It's not sponsored. I purchased this out of my own pocket. Um, and my understanding is they have two different versions. Uh, this is the non-actuator version, and it has uh, daylight and a set time. So let me go ahead and talk you through and show you exactly what I did. All right, so the reason I chose this particular opener is because it's extremely simple to use. Uh, you have to basically just make a space big enough for these two rails. I believe it's eight and a half, but their instructions are very clear on what it needs to be. So it's got these two metal rails on either side. There's a rail at the bottom to keep an animal from lifting it up. And then it's just this metal door right here. It gets tied onto a string. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, you think that that's not going to be sufficient but it is really relatively easy to use now the other reason i chose this particular opener is because all it takes is four AA batteries they claim that it's supposed to last about six months i've had it in there for a month or two and it's still working fine and those are uh, cheap um, harbor freight batteries so take that with a grain of salt but let me go ahead and, and open this up and i'm going to show you exactly how it works on the inside so the box is a watertight, just a watertight enclosure. All it has is four plastic screws. All right, and it's relatively simple. Now, all it takes are these four AA batteries. There's a little motor up here with the string. It almost looks like Firewire, um, if you're a fisherman, that type of string. It's a little heavier, dutier than that. All right, so the first time that I pulled this out and tried to use it, uh, I could not get the door to move. So there's a couple things. I called the guy. He was <laughs> simple. It sounded like it was a guy working at his house um, that must make or sell these things, but he was very helpful. So there's two things. One, there's a reset button right here. And essentially what it tells you to do the first time is to just unwind this string. So if you just unwind it, put your door in so that it's sitting flat on the ground or on the bottom, tie your string on there, and then um, unwind the string and tie it. Then what you have to do is twofold. One, let me go ahead and zoom in here for you. All right, so the string comes down. The string has to go on the left side of these two white posts. Essentially what happens here is there's a sensor that detects the tension. So when you hit that reset button, it's gonna go ahead and pull the door up to a point where you let go, and that sort of sets the height of where the door should be. Then when it lets it down, it's gonna detect when there's no more tension on that string. So the first time, again, I had to call him, and he walked me through the reset button to get it to actually move. And then the biggest thing is he said that if it doesn't drop, then that means that you have it's bound up somewhere in here. And all I had to do was just unscrew one of these screws and pull it out a little bit that way. And that loosened it up enough. And it literally just slides up and down, no problem. As you can hear, that's the current time. I'm when it opens, brightness for it to open, time for it to close, brightness for it to close, and then control based on this information right over here. Control is zero, which is time for open, time for close. One, which is time for open, light to close. Two, is light to open, time to close, or three, which is what I have it set to, which is use light to open and close. Now, and that's relatively it. This is your 
daylight sensor. This is your reset button. This is your time that flashes when you have a low battery. And then this is the sensor right here that detects when there is uh, no more tension on the line. And then this, oh, this last one tells you what the lightness is right now. So right now light, light is 23. The sensor for this is right here. And so if you use just a Sharpie cap and put it over that, it should detect that it's dark and close if all goes well. It shows the light is 17, so that's why it's not closing. This isn't dark enough. Let me go get a black cap and we'll see if that works. All right, so let's try a black cap. Silver might have been too light. Still may be too light. There you go. You can see the door just shuts. Now, I was holding that sensor, that's why it unwound a little bit. And once I pull the cap off, it should wind it back up and lift the door. It's really a super simple setup. It's not difficult to program. There's also a little LED light in here that flashes, and I have to get the manual to see exactly what it is, but depending on how quickly it flashes, it indicates that there's a low battery. So they had two different versions of this opener. One was uh, strictly light-based, where you could set um, at what brightness and darkness you wanted it to open and close. Uh, or they have one that's light-based and time-based. So I elected, this one's actually the light and time-based. I was afraid that, I don't know what I was afraid. It's actually a little bit cheaper to get just the light-based one, uh, but I was afraid that it wouldn't work or function correctly. I wouldn't be able to set the time. So and it wasn't a huge difference in price. Uh, but I will link both of those products below. You can go check them out. Again, I'm not sponsored by this. I purchased this with my own money and it, it works great. So I just wanted to do a review. If you wanted to see how I set up the automatic water, I will put a link to that in the description and then just general uh, how I pulled in these chickens and where I got them from. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, please do it. Like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I appreciate you all so much for watching. And as always, get out there and fix something. I'll see you on the next video.